Hello and welcome to our full-length Kundalini meditation and triple gong bath class. And welcome to you in, in the United States and around the world. I'm coming to you live on Zoom and by recording on YouTube. And I'd like to invite you to join us live on Zoom any Saturday. The details are on our website, sunnyhillsmeditation.com. So to begin, just sit with a straight spine and close your eyes and allow yourself to relax from your feet all the way to the top of your head. Just imagine a wave of relaxation washing over you. And now inhale slowly and exhale. And allow yourself to even feel more relaxed. And I'd like to begin today's class by offering my wish for you today. And that is that you let contentment be in your smile humility in your voice, meditation on your breath. Let remembrance of death be your secret gift, virtue and innocence your essence, and trust your foundation. I'm hearing something, so somebody must not be muted. Did I not mute everybody? Here we go, okay. And to continue, let the fellowship of humankind be your highest order of yoga and the conquest of your mind be your conquest of the world. We bow to this, we bow, O primal perfection, unborn, undying oneness of all, ever present everywhere, throughout all space, all time, all existence, within all human beings and within all life. Wonderful. So with that, please continue to imagine the vastness of the universe and feel your place within that vastness, seeing yourself as being infinite, divine, and a vital part of the oneness of all. Our opening chant begins with the words Ong Namo, which means I acknowledge and honor the infinite. And then Guru Dev Namo, which means I acknowledge and honor the unseen divine presence. So we chant all five words in a sequence three times through. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, out loud. And don't worry about how you sound. Instead, just focus on using your voice to vibrate a feeling of love and devotion. And just go ahead and rub your palms together. Create some warmth. And press your hands together in prayer pose. Place your feet flat on the ground if you're sitting in a chair. And if you're sitting on a yoga mat, just ground your sit bones to the earth and relax your shoulders. Relax your neck and your face. Sit with that straight spine, eyes closed. Focus your brow point, your sixth chakra, that place right between your eyebrows about a half inch or an inch inside of your skull or your pituitary gland is. And go ahead and inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And inhale to begin chanting out loud if you know the words. Oh. deeply and suspend your breath and relax your breath and place your left palm over your heart center and your right palm over your left and take this time to count your blessings to generate a feeling of deep gratitude they say that gratitude is the closest thing to joy it's always available to us so let's take advantage and count our blessings. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so grateful for all 
hands on your heart center and set your intention for today's class. What would you like to get out of today's class? How would you like to be as a result of today's class that you can take into the day ahead, into the week ahead with you? Set your intention. Excellent. And I'll share my intention with you. My intention today is to embrace an open-hearted approach, aiming to elevate everyone around me, especially you and every member of this class, starting by encouraging you to practice self-kindness and self-appreciation. You deserve it. Today, you can consider me as a messenger bringing to your doorstep today's edition of Positivity and Love. I'll do my best, highlighting the wonderful aspects of you and your higher being, your spiritual essence. My purpose is to inspire, to elevate, and to enhance because you are so blessed. We are so blessed. So let's have another great class together today. And we'll begin with a few simple warm-ups. Remember always to maintain a gentle and mindful approach and listen to your body's signals. Avoid any movements that cause discomfort or pain. These exercises are very easy. We'll begin with some aura sweeps. Just inhale and sweep your arms up overhead, expanding your lungs, and then exhale completely, sweeping your arms down through your aura. Inhale, sweep up, eyes closed if you can and exhale sweeping your arms down inhale up fill your lungs and exhale empty your lungs arms going down one last time inhale up suspend your breath and stretch your arms up overhead stretch 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 good and go ahead and exhale and sweep your arms down and relax for a moment and we'll do some spine flexes next this is kind of like cat-cow, except we're in a seated position and we don't flip-flop our head. So it's just a matter of inhaling and flexing your spine forward so your chest comes forward and up, arching your back, and then exhale, rounding your back. And try to keep your head steady if you can. Inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. Even those, just continue on your own. Even though these exercises are really simple, they have a purpose for us in this class to help us generate some fresh cerebral spinal fluid. CSF is what they call it in the medical world. Cerebral spinal fluid in your spine and all around your brain, inside your skull. A big purpose of cerebral spinal fluid is to clear away debris and to Keep your brain and your spine fresh. And any movement of your shoulders, your neck, your head, especially, and in your spine, can help you create fresh cerebral spinal fluid. So go ahead and inhale and flex forward one last time and suspend your breath. And exhale. Bring your spine back to more normal in the middle there. And we'll do some spine twists. Take your fingers, put them in Gyan Mudra. That's the wisdom mudra, hand position, thumb and index finger touching, and the other fingers flying free. Gonna put our arms out kind of like football goal posts with, it's called candelabra pose. Your upper arms are parallel to the earth and your forearms are pointing straight up. And if you can, have your eyes closed. If you need them open, it's fine. You're gonna inhale and twist your spine, your shoulders, your neck and head to the left. And then exhale, twisting everything to the right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. You can focus at your brow point. You can use a mantra. We use Sat Nam. Sat meaning truth, Nam meaning name. Truth is the name of God. Truth is the name of the infinite. Truth is your name. Inhaling Sat, 
exhaling nam silently if you care to you don't have to so just continue for a few more seconds inhaling left exhaling right you're looking very good really good okay go ahead and inhale and come to center and relax your breath and relax your arms down and we'll do some shoulder shrugs go ahead and inhale squeeze your shoulders up exhale release and relax down inhale and squeeze up exhale so relax down inhale up relax down and this last time inhale and squeeze up squeeze 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 suspend your breath and exhale and relax your arms down good and we've been doing a chair yoga exercise these are all chair yoga exercises but those four we do every week so i'm trying to spice it up a little bit with a new one each week and this week is called seated alternating heel digs <laughs> get to dig your heels in and the purpose is to activate your leg muscles to improve circulation and to boost coordination so you can do this actually seated in a chair or if you're on if you're on a yoga mat today in class here you can also do it just make the adjustments as you need to if, so i'm going to give the instructions for for you seated in a chair just sit upright with a straight spine and begin by extending your right leg forward and now dig your right heel into the ground while flexing your toes toward you and then just return your right foot back to its starting position and repeat the motion with your left leg. Extend your left leg forward and dig your heel into the ground, flexing your toes toward you, and then return your left foot to its starting position. And just continue alternating between your right and left legs for about a minute or so, maintaining a rhythmic pace. So let's left and then right. And dig your heel into the ground, creating some pressure each time and if this is not good for your legs you can just sit and imagine yourself doing it and sit meditatively so I'd like to welcome Anita and Laura who came in a little bit after we started it's great to have you here okay go ahead and inhale bring your legs back to the normal position both of them inhale with your spine straight suspend your breath and relax your breath and just sit with your eyes closed for a few seconds allowing yourself to rebalance and become centered in preparation for our breath meditation Mm, refresh yourself with some nice deep breathing. Relaxed. Happy with yourself for bringing yourself to class. Taking your time with everything. Being kind to yourself. With your heart open. Your mind open. You are divine. You are infinite and you are connected with the oneness of all. Okay, so our pranayama today, last week we did the four parts in and four parts out breath meditation. Our pranayama today is a variation of alternate nostril breathing. It's called inhale right, exhale left. And the inhale right, exhale left breath pattern is said to give you clarity and to brighten your outlook with a positive mood. It helps you focus on what's important. It's kind of opposite of left nostril breathing, which is to relax you. So, you know, the body has the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, two halves of your body, your nervous system. And today, this is going to activate the right half, which is your left brain, <laughs> which is your logical part of your brain so it's going to give you clarity and a positive outlook see if it happens here's how you do it place your right hand in Gyan Mudra that's thumb and index finger touching the other fingers free 
and just uh, rest that on your right knee and use your left thumb to close your left nostril as you inhale through your right nostril and then use your index finger to close your right nostril as you exhale through your left nostril and then alternate back with the thumb closing your left nostril inhale through your right index finger closes the right and exhale through your left and just continue that on your own at your own pace we're going to do this for five minutes just repeat that over and over again at your own pace left thumb closes your left nostril as you inhale right and then you switch to your index finger closing your right nostril as you exhale left slowly and deeply is best but you get to choose how deeply and how slowly you'd like to breathe one minute already gone you have four minutes left eyes closed focus at your brow point if you can You're more than halfway done. You have two minutes and eight seconds to go. doing great you have one minute to go enjoy it
Okay, inhale, please. And suspend your breath. And exhale and keep your eyes closed. Relax your breathing. Stay relaxed and just relax into slow, deep breathing. And take, this adva take advantage of this time, a few moments, to go inside and notice how you feel. Notice any effects you've created with this type of breathing. And know that you can do it any time. Very well done. It's time for your reward. If you will, please now find a nice place to lie down comfortably. It can be on the floor, on a couch, in your bed. You can even sit in your chair if you prefer. Just make it so that you can deeply relax, preferably deeply relax on your back with your palms up for our gong relaxation. Today, we're gonna to use these three gongs to help us release any negativity unwanted thoughts, regrets, anxiety, worry, stress, fear. So any negativity from the past, the present, or the future, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. And when you let go of these things, it helps create a space for something new, something fresh. And when you do this each week, you chip away a little bit more at the subconscious mind, the, you know, the negativity or patterns that may be carrying around, the inner critical voice that we all have. And you get to create more space for peace and calm and joy and gratitude and love and all the good things. So. Okay, so as you're laying there, Start relaxing your feet, your toes, and your bottoms of your feet, and your ankles. And relax your calves, your shins, your knees. Relax your thighs, and your bottom, your pelvic area. Relax your lower back. And your stomach. Go ahead and move up into your upper back and into your chest and the sides of your body. Relaxing up into your upper chest and shoulders. Relaxing your neck. Actually now going back down through your shoulders to your arms. Relaxing your upper arms and your elbows and your forearms your wrists, your palms, the backs of your hands, your fingers, your thumbs. Relax, relax, relax. Move back up into your shoulders and into your neck. And relax your chin, your jaw, your cheeks, your temples, your eyes, your eyelids, your eyebrows your forehead, relax your scalp, and relax your brain. May this cosmic dance fuel our spirits, awakening us to the love within. I 
begin to bring yourself back to consciousness and wiggle your toes and your fingers and please take your left hand and touch the top of your head and say out loud I love myself I love myself I love myself. And now say three times, I bless myself. I bless myself. I bless myself. And place both palms over your eyes and slowly move your palms away from your eyes as you're opening your eyes into your palms. This will gently acclimate your eyes to the light in the room. 
Good. And now go ahead and raise your arms overhead and stretch your body lengthwise. Stretch long, long, long from your fingertips to your toe tips. Stretch one part and then the other. Sometimes you can stretch your arms especially and then give special attention to your spine. Give special attention to your legs and maybe stretch the entire body all at once. Best stretch of the day. Yeah. And go ahead and re let your arms lower. Come back down. And if you are lying on your back, go ahead and bend your knees and bring your feet in a little bit towards your bottom with your feet still on the ground. And if you're sitting in a chair, you can kind of simulate the same motion of taking your right palm and putting it on the outside of your left knee. It's bent and pushing your legs to the right as you twist your upper torso to the left. A nice cross body stretch. Lower torso being pushed to the right, upper torso twisting to the left. Your head, neck, shoulders, chest to the left. And relax into it. Gently relax, relax, relax. And then go ahead and release that. And we'll do the opposite side right palm on the outside of your excuse me left palm on the outside of your right knee and push your knees to the left toward the floor toward the earth as you twist your upper torso to the right head neck shoulders chest to the right and relax into this cross body stretch good and go ahead and release that and come back to center. And if you're in a chair, just use your hands and palms to rub your lower back a little bit, massage yourself. And if you're on the ground, you can grab your knees or grab your shins or behind your thighs, whichever is most comfortable and curl up in a ball. Bring your knees to your chest and your chin to your knees. And so with yourself curled up in a ball, now roll on your spine lengthwise back and forth a few times and then also you can go side to side and massage your lower back naturally while you curl up in a ball and then if you go back into that lengthwise spine you can roll up right into a seated position or you could just roll over drop over one side and push yourself up into a seated position and come back up to how we were at the beginning of class with your spine straight Relaxing your shoulders and just coming to be centered and balanced. The beauty of the gongs is, is that vibration goes into your eardrums and it turns into an electrical signal that goes to your brain and then it goes into a nerve. That brain turns it into a nerve signal that goes out to all your nerves so that you have the vibrations of the gongs penetrating throughout your entire body, vibrating and helping you to release any stress or anxiety. Okay, so go ahead and recall your intention that you said at the beginning of class. Check in with yourself. How did it go? How do you feel? Is this a feeling you want to take with you into the day ahead, into the week ahead? Would you like to modify it in any way? Good, excellent. So let's go ahead and bring our class to a close. Just rub your palms together like we did at the beginning of class. Create some warmth. Press, press, and rub. Oh, you can get warm. Good. And press your palms together in prayer pose at the center of your chest. Eyes closed, spine straight, and we'll close with our sunshine song. If you're new to class, you can listen and vibrate the meaning. And if you're experienced, you can sing out loud three times through, the first time for yourself the second time for your friends and family, your community, for everyone in this class, if you like. 
and the third time through for Mother Earth and for the entire universe, for the oneness of all. So go ahead and inhale to begin. First time for yourself. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Inhale for friends and family. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Inhale this time for Mother Earth and for all life. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your way on inhale for the first of three long sat nams sat meaning truth now meaning name sat nam Truth is the name of infinity. Inhale. Satnam. We celebrate the truth in all. One more time. Satnam. Inhale and suspend your breath. Relax your breath and take a moment, take a few moments to compose yourself and use your power of prayer for 20 or 30 seconds or so. Affirm your prayer for whomever you like. Go ahead and take five or 10 seconds to bring your prayer to a close. And receive my prayer for you. My prayer for you today is that you nurture and deepen your sense of unity and your awareness of the interconnectedness of all beings. We are all one. May you strengthen and deepen your love for the most significant people in your life. May you allow yourself to feel immense joy whenever celebrating or gathering with family or friends. May you express gratitude for those in your life who have enriched you with their love, their wisdom, their care and kindness. You're on your way. You're connected with all life. You're strong. So remember too that you are deeply loved and remember that you are fully deserving of all love and joy because truth is who you are. Sat Nam. Amen. And thank you for being in class today. Hope you can stay for our sharing time. I'm going to stop the recording for our privacy.